morning gals I wanted to share with you today my new super fabby oh my god to die for BB chic um, baby girl album I spent probably between 10 and 12 hours making this and I'm super excited to share it with you um, made a video yesterday but it's kind of yellow and really shaky um, I use my phone so forgive me if I do get shaky because I'm trying to film and uh, show you everything um, as I go with one hand so this is the front obviously of my album and um, I've got quite a bit going on here this is um, a photo frame I got in the Michaels bin for two dollars um, love the two dollar bin at Michaels um, these are all wild orchid craft roses um, I've got a little baby bottle there and down at the bottom there's a little teddy bear um, I've got a couple of crocheted butterflies I got from the lace mama on uh, eBay and this is from the paper collection Teresa Collins um, BB chic it's an old paper line but um, everybody wants it so it's in high demand and I bought a little kit a uh, girl had cut up the pieces and made several kits out of them so I added a lot of my own papers and um, tried to kind of match that pink and black theme so um, this is just a little trim that I get at Joann's it's kind of expensive but um, well worth it really adds um, not sure about this metal flower but really really like that wild orchid craft and I have this little charm um, that I just got yesterday at Michael's for a dollar can't beat that um, this bow pulls out and you can put a photo on that little circle and stick that back in the frame if you like and let me turn this around this is how I did my uh, my binding here with this real frilly white trim um, rhinestone rhinestones I got that at Hobby Lobby in here as well we're real, real pretty um, as you can see lo lots of goodies sticking out the top there lots of pull out tags um, I'm gonna turn it and show you that from this angle um, you can see there's really a lot going on in this uh, oh it's six by nine so let's go ahead and open it up and the first page has a real pretty crocheted butterfly also from the lace mama with uh, this little fl flower in the center and uh, prima uh, pearls and rhinestones there so let's go over here to the first page and again forgive me I'm trying to do this one-handed um, on the first page I have um, a pull-out tag. It's got papers from the paper collection. Um, this is from the paper collection also and some real pretty fancy white fluffy trim up there. Um, down here, I, you know I'm not real sure who makes these little metal embellishments. It says baby and then I used a die cut from um, Spellbinders to kind of frame it out. Um, over here more lace from the Lace Mama and a photo mat. And there's a little tag that pulls out here and it's um, another little photo mat journaling area there tucks behind there this opens up and um, more photo mat space and then this little tag kind of tucks in and holds that shut um, there's a pull out tag um, for more photos here each page has its own um, hidden pocket so you'll see that along the way on the next page um, I have a large area here for um, a photo mat and this is um, a white embossed um, rose pattern real pretty um, I added a sentiment stamped sentiment here Prima flower and some little uh, notions, little baby style notions. Um, when you open this up, it uh, has a flap here, and this is just 
a little journaling card for mom to put her feelings and thoughts. This little pocket has more um, butterflies from the Lace Mama with buttons on the front. Real cute little girly theme. Um, down here, uh, Precious Moments is from the paper collection. It's actually a chipboard piece and I used a Spellbinders die behind it to frame it out and that opens up for more photos. I'll close that and then there is a pull out tag here with lines for lots of journaling and um, everything has got is two-sided so um, if there's journaling on one side there's journaling on another so this is another pull out tag it says new arrival and this is a flower made from the paper collection and there's going to be quite a few of these throughout the the album so love that because they match all right our next page is a real BB chic page um, paper from the paper collection. This is also from the paper collection and I've added a little uh, baby buggy, pink baby buggy there. More of that uh, real glamorous expensive trim from uh, Joann's. And then these two little booklets open up for lots of photo mats and they're both the same. So that's quite a bit of uh, area there for more little small photos that you can crop. Um, okay, this page. really like this page. Um, let's start over here. There's a pull-out tag, and I've added um, this real pretty pink and white polka dot ribbon with this um, rhinestone buckle slider. And um, down here, just a little corner piece with um, a little teddy bear flower and some uh, blocks, baby blocks there. Um, now over here, we have another one of these uh, metal sentiments. It says Miracle. Frame that out with another spell binders and added some pretty ribbon there. That opens up, flaps down, and more photos. Um, then I've got another journaling tag here and I've added some more um, lace from the Lace Mama off of eBay and this is I believe this is a Prima flower that I got at Michael's on sale from the $2 bin. Love it. Oh, I missed this one guys. This is another one of those metal flowers. Real pretty. Um, still not sure where I got it from but sure matched this album I thought. Okay, over here, another little corner piece. Um, she is from the paper collection, some uh, Petaloo flowers, um, two little small pull-out tags with uh, some heart buttons. Those buttons are real cute and match this. Um, this sentiment, a handful of happiness, heart full of love, congratulations on your new little girl, is from Making Memories. And um, I got that a long time ago. That's like an old stash item. Um, they were having a sale one time and I bought a bunch of stuff. Okay, so that just opens up like that. Put some little trim on it. Uh, another little pull-out tag with a little heart button. And I kind of um, stamped the edges on that one on both sides. Um, another pull-out 5x7 photo mat, double-sided. So there is a ton of space um, in this album for photos and journaling. Okay, this page. Um, this little tag has got a little um, stork carrying the baby. And the little sentiment says, it's the smallest things that fill your heart. And a baby is definitely small. So this is for more photos. This is a large photo mat with paper from the paper collection. Um, on this side also another photo mat. This pulls out, but since I'm one-handed, I'm not going to pull that out, but it's got a photo mat just like this other one. Alright, this 
This page is really pretty and I don't think that uh, video is going to do it justice. This is a black velvet paper. Um, I've added more of that real pretty um, white trim with the rhinestones. And down here I've added uh, the pink polka dot ribbon with a, a heart rhinestone heart slider. And this opens up. Big photo area there. And then behind that is this pull-out journaling tag that also has a flower from made from the paper collection. Now, guys, remember I told you that I tried to do both sides of the uh, pull-out tags so that they would all be pretty. So um, this is going to pull out on the next page, and you can see how pretty that is. Staying with that theme. All right, on this page, um, more real pretty white trim. Added some really gorgeous pearls. Another Prima crocheted flower. This flap opens up, and this is more of that um, real pretty embossed rose paper or photo map. Um, this says a star is born and this is uh, more from the paper collection. There's a little tag here that says princess and when the book's laying flat you can actually pull that out for another photo mat and journaling area. Um, and then we have this pocket up here, this real pretty um, black lace and this real pretty paper. And this opens opens up for more photos. All right, this page here. This one's kind of unique. Um, I'm gonna untie it for you. And this is for a photo mat and a photo mat. And also inside uh, a photo, a photo, a photo, and a photo. And then these fold down for journaling. Isn't that great? I have to admit, it wasn't my idea. I did see that in a tutorial. Um, I thought it was really, really cool, so I had to, had to do that. Um, I also have journaling here, and on the other side is a, a photo mat in that hidden pocket. All right, girls, one-handed, this is difficult. On this page, um, I created just a big pocket across the page. This is a rubber stamp. Um, I'm not sure if this is Recollections. This is a Spellbinders. And I just created a couple of little pull-outs here. Wish Upon a Shooting Star is what it says on that one. And on this page, um, this is another little photo mat that pulls out. This is a photo mat, a photo mat, and a journaling area. And this kind of just tucks back in there to kind of hold that closed. This is another um, photo mat with paper from the paper collection. And this tag is also from the paper collection, and I just added... Um, congratulations from the paper collection. Behind this is another Spellbinders die. And this tag pulls out. And that's from the paper collection as well. And then we slide it back in and it kind of is popped up so it hangs over that uh, photo mat. There's another little pocket here. I am, there's, I think, two pockets that I didn't put anything in so Mom has room to put lots of whatever kind of goodies she has from the hospital or what have you. All right, this is the last um, page. Obviously, um, on the back cover is journaling. But on this page, is um, there was an envelope from a different paper collection that I thought went pretty well. Um, I wanted an envelope. I cut the top off so, to make a pocket. And then what I did was I made another little um, mini album. This is from the paper collection, as is this paper, and um, basically journaling, photo map, a bunch of 
places for photos. And then there are hidden pockets in between each page for more goodies to tuck down in there. Um, but this envelope would only hold so much. So I'm going to tuck that back down in there. And that is my 6x9 uh, mini, sort of not so mini, album that I wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed it and um, got some ideas. That's what it's all about, girls. It's just um, sharing ideas and helping each other create really cool, um, awesome stuff. So I wish you all a happy day, happy scrapping, and we'll see you soon.